what's up y'all so i'm about to wash my hair and throw some jumbo braids in with some cute little beads on the end so i just took down my hair i'm about to wash it blow dry it and slap these braids in they're gonna be jumbo i want no more than 15 in my head but yeah i just wanted to come on here to show y'all how moisturized my hair is it is still moisturized that shine is still there. Look a little nasty because it's mixed in with the got to be glued. Since my hair was still nice and moisturized up under that bun for a week and a half, I'm retaining length. So I'm reducing breakage. Therefore, it's gonna result in longer, healthier looking hair because your hair is not breaking off. I just washed, conditioned, and blow dried my hair out. And someone mentioned that it looked like my hair got shorter. That's because I've been cutting on it. I've been cutting on the ends. Only did a little bit this time, just a little bit. So as you can see, the thinness of my hair. I honestly need to cut all of this off because you can see how thin it looks from here on. This is the oldest part of my hair when I wasn't taking care of it. On this side, I need to cut off all of this because you don't see, you can't see through it. So this is what I'm trying to prevent from happening again. You don't want it to be an ongoing cycle. Should I cut all of this off before I put my braids in to kind of start fresh? You know what I'm saying? This up here is growing in nicely, nice and full. I don't know, I don't want to. Maybe when I take my braids out. Let me show y'all the hair that I'm gonna be using. Expressions Ultra Braid, three come in a pack. I forget how much it was. I purchased it on wigtypes.com, the color number one, and it's 52 inches. Of course, I'm gonna be using my hair butter. Now, this hair butter works best on dry hair. Because when your hair is wet, it's kind of like mixing oil with water. So it'll be kind of slippery and it doesn't really work its way in as good as if it was on dry hair. If your hair is wet, your hands is wet, you mix in oil with water. And then I'm gonna be using the Hicks Edge Control rubber bands. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not, not Need a money counter, I broke my thumb from thumbing down Wifey on my line, she told me to dumb it down Mama on my line, asking how I'm dumber now I think you only love me cause I'm popping This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not Get out my way, I'm so, I'm so unashamed Throw it to my veins It took me, I don't know, about five, six hours. Cause I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
13, 14, 15, 16, about 17 braids. But it took forever, mainly because, y'all know, my hair is fine and it's like I can't grip, especially when I have like gel or, well, it's even worse with gel. I had switched to the, um, the edge boost control to kind of grip it better, but even that was making it slip. So as y'all seen in the previous clip, I had to keep on like getting a grip on it and it's still not as tight as I want it, but it's good. The parts are, you know, the parts are never straight. Like I struggle parting on other people's hair, so, or other people's head, so I know mine's. So you know mine's be a struggle. Yeah, I did put the beads on. The hair is not as long as I thought it was gonna be. So maybe next time I'm gonna get a 60 something inch because this was, what, a 56 inch? Yeah, I still think they came out super cute. What also threw me off is starting from the front, front first. I never start from the front first. I only did that for the purposes of this video, but that kind of threw me off with the party. But um, it's all good. They still cute. I'm still cute. Boom. Sorry I didn't record that much, but I was getting so frustrated. But I know y'all seen these videos plenty of times. I mean, they're box braids. The rubber band method box braids. Who hasn't seen this and who don't know how to do this? <laughs> like, who? I didn't even show me putting the beads on because we don't know how to put beads on. Even though I didn't show much, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this video up anyway. And uh, yeah, I thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.